So here we're going to introduce the CDC UART interface of the data visualizer uh, with the series on visual debugging with MPLAB data visualizer. And here we're going to look at the first use cases of the CDC UART. So if your kit has a CDC UART, then you'll be able to do terminal or printf debugging as well as graphing 8-bit values. And we're going to look at that here. This project was built up in the video where we used the MPLAB Express uh, example browser, but you'd be able to follow along with everything that we have here if you have basically a printf with some value. Let's dive in. So this is the project from the MPLAB Express example project browser that we modified adding a UART uh, with MCC and uh, if we just have a look what's happening here in the ADC get single conversion essentially here we have a 16-bit value which is returned uh, which is just the ADC result high and low registers so this is just a 10-bit ADC value which is right aligned which we saw in the last video okay so uh, let's refactor this and just call it an ADC 10-bit since that is closer to what it is just for clarity's sake. Okay, so we can program by replacing the hex that's there already. We can open the data visualizer. Note that if we check the device manager, our kit is on COM10, so we can connect to that with a serial connection, and here we can select data to plot. So as we modify our values, we get the results updated on the terminal. We could also choose to plot on the graph. Of course, this doesn't have much meaning. And note that we can also have a look at the hex values that are being displayed as well. But let's go back now and modify our project Instead of 10-bit ADC value, we'd like to raw stream 8-bit values. And if we looked at PWM duty value, the eight most significant bits of the PWM duty cycle are an 8-bit ADC value. So now we can introduce uint8 of the ADC 8-bit. And that is not the duty value, but it's our ADC 10-bit so now instead of printf, our generated files, uart.c, and go find a uart write function, and take our ADC8 result and just stream that out. We'd like to slow this down a little bit, so let's add a small delay. implement a delay function, delay millisecond, and let's send this every 100 milliseconds. Okay, let's again program. Replace the hex and go back to the data visualizer. And you can see now that it would be, make more sense to display hex values, start the graph streaming, and you can now see the values changing. So we can drag there. You can see show live data or pause scrolling here. Keep the hex values flowing. Note that if we select plots, for instance, and what the lines do is it will smooth out the values, whereas you can see that um, otherwise, you'll have a more stepwise type approach. In the next video, we'll show you how to stream more than 8 bits or more than one variable.